there welcome back to my channel thank you so much for being here today my name is Joss and if you haven't subscribed yet I would love it if you would subscribe and if you have already subscribed thank you so much and welcome back so my scent of the day today is Balenciaga Paris and I just have this kind of sturdy travel spray of it and it's really nice it's a very classy um, pretty nice for this time of year fragrance however the lasting power is not great so um, I really enjoyed this while it lasted, but it didn't last super long, maybe only a couple, two, three hours. So today I'm very excited to wrap up my little series that I've been doing around my favorite fragrances. And so I did a perfume collection video uh, not too long ago. I'll put that up in the cards for you. And in that video, I grouped my favorite fragrance, or I grouped my whole collection into nine categories or tiers. And so I have been walking through the tiers um, from the third and now up to the top. So today I'm gonna to be talking about my top tier. So these are my current 10 favorite fragrances from my collection. And this would be my full bottles. So I will link those other videos too so you can check those out if you're interested. But without further ado, I'm gonna jump into this. And if you watch my channel, these won't be a surprise at all because these are ones I talk about quite a bit. So I just love them all and I'll try not to gush too much, but I'm gonna start out with Oud Ambrosi from Maison Lancome. And this is gorgeous. This is a delicious Oud that has rose and honey and patchouli and cedar, I believe. It's gorgeous, it's very intoxicating, rich, um, extremely beautiful for the cold weather. And I don't think this is very office friendly, <laughs> just my personal opinion, because um, it is quite um, strong. It is quite the, the beast mode, um, lots of sillage and product projection, and it's beautiful. So it's kind of a special occasion thing, and this bottle is so stunning. So I really love this one for a special occasion. And then we have got Angel Muse, which is this beautiful um, gourmand with uh, hazelnut, and um, it's got kind of the DNA of the original Angel, but it's, in my opinion, it's better. It's just so gorgeous and rich and delicious, and uh, I love this one. So um, if you haven't tried Muse by Angel, or excuse me, by Mugler, I would suggest uh, getting a sample of it if you can. It's especially good in the cold weather because it's so rich and gourmand and delicious. And then I've got Jimmy Choo Stars. This is a flanker of Jimmy Choo, which I talked about in one of my previous videos. I love Jimmy Choo. It's very patchouli, toffee, gorgeous. Um, and this Stars flanker is very similar to the original. This is unfortunately discontinued, but like I said, it's so close to the original, I'm not sure if I could tell the difference. So um, yeah, this is in my top and Jimmy Choo is not far behind. I think it was in my can't remember if it was my third or fourth tier, but anyway. Okay, and then moving back to another Mugler. This is Angel Eau de Toilette from 2019. And this is gorgeous. It's got the original Angel DNA also, but it's just kind of a brighter and more lighthearted, fun, fruity. Um, it's, it's just beautiful. It's a great all occasion fragrance and I really love this one. And then I have Coco Mademoiselle. This is a classic. I love this. It's super popular. I really enjoy this. I just wore it the other day. It's got a lot of citrus, rose, patchouli. It's gorgeous. Um, I just don't know what else to say about it except it's one of my favorites and it's extremely popular. I definitely smell this out and about. Um, so, um, but it's definitely popular for a good reason. And so that's Coco Mademoiselle I love. And of course, I love all of these. <laughs> Um, and then I've got Narciso Rouge, and this is um, from the Narciso line from Narciso Rodriguez. And this is very much like the original Narciso. They come in these beautiful opaque bottles. The original was kind of an off-white, and then there's a Poudre version, which is millennial pink, and then this Rouge version. And they're all just gorgeous. This is my favorite, and um, it's got the classic Narciso Rodriguez musk and it's just gorgeous and super classy and elegant. 
I think it's, it's good for almost any occasion, very office friendly, um, just super gorgeous. And then my, um, probably my most springy um, fragrance of this group is Nomad, and this is the Eau de Toilette. This is from Chloe, Chloe Nomad. And um, the Eau de Toilette, I don't think is super different from the Eau de Parfum. It's gorgeous and um, very um, fruity, and it's got lychee and oak moss and freesia, but it just, it's such a gorgeous floral and um, I don't quite know how to describe it. It's kind of different, I think, um, for a floral. And so I just love this one, especially for this time of year. I think the bottle's beautiful and I think the whole Chloe line is, is quite nice, but this is probably my favorite. So that's Nomad Eau de Toilette. And last but not least, I've got my three, <laughs> three Lolita Olympicas here, which I saved for last because I am gonna spray these, um, these guys and see if I can actually tell a difference. So I've got, this is Midnight Couture with the cool leaves, got kind of a gothic. This is Minui Sun with the kind of sparkly leaves, beautiful. And this is Minui Door or gold. So I've said before, I can't really tell the difference between these three. Um, one definitely does not need all three of these because they are so similar. Unfortunately, they're all discontinued. I find them to be very delicious, intoxicating. Um, really, the benzoin comes through. Okay, so I'm gonna start with gold here. I'm just gonna spray. Oh, so beautiful. Um, so that's gold. Then I'm gonna spray Minui Sun on this arm. I don't think I can tell the difference between these two. They really smell identical to me. Okay, and then I'm gonna try um, Midnight Couture on this Kleenex. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put the notes up on the screen, but they smell identical to me. So um, I don't know if I, I probably don't need all three, but I just love them so much. So um, they're definitely in my top. And I think I had the original Lolita Lampica in my second tier, but it's one of my favorite houses, if not my favorite. And I did a whole collection video on my Lolita Lampicas. And so that is my top tier, my current 10 favorites out of my whole collection. So I hope you enjoyed this. Again, this was a viewer requested series. And if you have any video ideas for me, I'd love to hear those in the comments. And please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Feel free to give it a thumbs down if you didn't. And I'll see you again very soon. Thank you.